Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. The topic that I want to touch today is quite important in my opinion and at the same time is not something that you can easily find online. So I think it's quite uh, important that you follow this because you may have experienced this situation or it may happen in the future. Now we are looking here at Interactive Broker and we are in this situation where we have some shares of Apple, we have 100 shares, and we have a bracket order. If you don't remember what is a bracket order, you can watch one of my previous videos. The main idea is that you have a stop loss and a take profit, and when one of these two is activated, the other one is cancelled. Okay, now what can happen with this platform is that sometimes by mistake you may, for example, click here, you know, and you click uh, cancel, and, and one of these or both of these order disappear, right? In this case, because they were linked. Now, what is the problem? In interactive broker, you can create a new uh, order. Okay, for example, you can. Um, you can create a, a buy order here and it can be um, sorry What's this uh, they should have the bracket order um, yeah it's here right so you want to buy some shares here and then you can go here and then you want to put the bracket order but this will create a new order right uh, we can try if you want we buy 100 share at um, I don't know stop limit maybe 170 175 if again if you don't know what I'm doing what is a stop limit what is a limit or stop please watch my previous video so let's say 160 and 180, right? And, and then we say good uh, deal cancel, okay, and then we want to save the order. Now, what is the problem? The problem you see is that we have created another order where we want to buy this and we have stop loss and target profit, but we have already the shares, right? We don't want basically this thing. Order but cancel. if we cancel this, we cancel everything. So the question is, how can we restore the two orders, the stop loss and take profit, if we already have an existing position, okay? And that's what I'm going to show you. So the first thing you have to do, you have to go to the configure here, okay? And you go to these order columns. And here you go to order attributes, okay? And you have to look for this OCA group. You add this and you apply. Now, if you realize, we have this new column OCA group. Okay, before it was not there. So if you already have this column, you can skip this step. Now, what do we do? Well, here I'm using a demo account. I don't even have data connection, but usually you should see here the bid and ask price, right? So if we want to create sell order, that's right, we have to click on the bid. So first we click here, okay, and we have 100 shares, so we want to create the take profit. Let's say we want to take profit at 180, right? So 100 share, a limit price at 180, and we click on accept, not trust me, just accept for now, okay? And then we do the same to create the stop loss. And let's say the stop loss is 160. So again, you click here, sell, and stop loss, remember, is a stop order, and it's 160. And again, we are sell. Now we have these two orders, but they are not linked right it's not a, a, an OCO it's not a bracket order so how can we link these two guys we go here to the OC group and we write a number any number like 15 
and it should be the same number for both. Okay, something like that. Basically, we are giving the same ID to these two orders in such a way that when we transmit them, they will be linked. So now when we do the transmit, we do this and we do this, now they are linked. Okay? Actually, we should put good till cancel to be precise, but how do we know that they are linked? And this is again a um, bracket order. If we check on Mosaic, here you will see this thing. When you see this um, dash here connecting the order, it means that these are bracket. Okay? So basically, this is the way to connect order. And you can also check that if we remove one of them, the other one disappears as well. Like, order cancel. You see? Both of them disappear. So that was, uh, that was to show you how you can recreate a bracket order if by mistake you remove them, uh, you remove the, these two orders for an existing position. And the same thing applies for the short, let's say you have a short position, you do exactly the same. The only difference is that the two orders, the take profit and stop loss, this time will be buy order, right? Because you are short selling, so to close the position, you have to buy. So I hope this video was useful. It happened to me uh, a few times, and I really had to spend some time to find uh, the solution on, on, on internet. So I really hope this can help you to save time. If you have any question, please uh, write a comment and see you next time.